Hey everybody, it's Let Your Light Shine. I'm here at Camelot in Anaheim, California. I'm actually here for a birthday party, a kid's birthday party. So I thought I would walk around the place because this used to be a place I remember when I was a teen. And it used to be called Scamalot. I'm also gonna check out next door. It used to be Family Fun Center. It is not anything close to that anymore these days, but I thought I would just go down memory lane and talk about it. So in Camelot, you can do, there's miniature golf outside. Inside is an arcade and laser tag is on the second floor. So there you have it. But over here used to be the Family Fun Center. I hung out over here more because I had a friend who used to work here and we were in high school at the time. So now, as far as it being called scam a lot, it's because people would scam on boys and girls then. Now, I wasn't that kind of person. I don't know. I, I just didn't, it wasn't my thing. But I always wanted to go visit my friend because we would get like a big free um, soft pretzel with cheese, dipping cheese sauce, and it was good. So Family Fun Center, I always wondered if, if it was like a rivalry because they also had an arcade. They had bumper boats, they had roller skating, they had a skid track, and they had a regular racetrack. And, uh, and then, they, oh yeah, they had um, a batting, like for, I don't know what you call batting, batting cages, and a weird slide. I tried to look this up on the internet, I could not find any old pictures of this place. So I'm gonna try um, historic aerial map again, and see if I can't show you that from a, like drones perspective or I don't know what you want to call it. So Okay, so right here would have been that slide I was talking about. It was really weird. I never was I never did it, but it kinda of reminded me of um like Lake Dolores. If you remember those old slides before they revamped it and before it went abandoned. But it was like one or two slides on these metal rollers and it would end in like a shallow pool. And it was like right here, right here. And then the batting cages were right here. And then this lot right here, it basically was like a horseshoe. Like you'd go and all the way at the end would be the arcade. And then you'd go that way back out. So um, at the end over here would be been the skid track and then the racetrack was back there and the bumper boats were over there and actually what I liked about the bumper boats is that it wasn't just like one big pool that you just go around and bump into each other you could actually uh, it had like a little like a little river kind of thing that you could drive around you know drive around and had like little props that looked like little houses or something that you could look at while you're doing it I thought it was really cute and the Roller skating rink was the same way. You could go around the rink and then you could go outside the rink and there was like a little pathway to skate around. And I thought that was really cool. I'm really not sure why the place closed down. So back to the whole Scamalot thing. Back when I was a teenager, they had <laughs> what was popular back then. Seriously, I never get into what was popular, so I, this was not my thing. Um, mini trucks, if anybody remembers those. There were these lowered trucks these smaller trucks and they were lowered so low they were like literally inches from the ground um in fact i'll show you a picture right now okay so now you see what i'm talking about and what they would have and i was talking to my brother about this too because it's kind of funny um they would have in the driver's seat would be the guy's name, or normally it was a guy that owned it. So. And uh, behind the window would have his name, and on the other side of the window, if you had a girlfriend, it'd be her name on the passenger back window. So I remember my friend had a boyfriend with a lower truck, and her name would be on there. And and I'm walking the same exact same exact route, kinda, that they did. 
they'd go super slow and they would pump up their like super loud bassy rap kind of music and just go like five two to five miles an hour with their windows down all looking like they're cool and then my brother rem re remembered that it kind of at after a while kind of got out of hand and cops had to start uh, patrolling the area so whatever obviously they don't do it anymore so I think they also went in front of Camelot too I just remember being at the family fun center more for that free soft pretzel because <laughs> I'm a dork um, so I just remember it mainly over here so basically I am walking on the particular area of the bumper boats they would have been right here and then the ice skating, or not ice skating, the roller skating rink would have been right here. But Camelot's been around forever. I mean, that place has not changed. I don't know if laser tag was there. I think that was a fairly new thing, but um, their golf course and their water slides. I remember going on that water slide when I was in sixth grade. It was like our like uh, grand finale, end of year, last day of school. And the song Shout from, why can't I think, Tears for Fears was the big song back then. So every time that song comes on the radio today, I always think of these water slides. And I'm going to show it to you as soon as I get near Camelot. While I'm walking towards these water slides, I thought I would show you the outside of this building. Still the same. Actually, my friend that's uh, having his birthday party for her daughter totally remembers scam a lot. <laughs> so, this is kind of funny. to this area because uh, it used to be just all miniature golf and they kept all the good courses thank god because over here were kind of boring little um, little kid courses but they were really boring so now they have the bumper boats which is fine I just I still like family fun center because it was you know it was like a pool like this but then you could go offset and do the little river too and back there is the raceway but I am looking for the water slides, which I see, so let's go check them out. There they are. They're very fun. They weren't scary at all, so I always remembered having a good time. Because I don't like the ones with the big, large drops. So these are perfect. All right, I found a better way to get closer to these slides. It's like a maze up in here. So here's the racetrack over here. That's new, to me at least. Looks kind of fun. Oh, it's all like, huh. Let me see if, how close I can get to this thing. I don't know, I always thought the golf course was fun though. Has some cool little things. They have one that you have to go upside, you know, go through a loop and you have all these little water hazards. But you know, I, I don't think I ever see this open anymore, even during the summer, I don't know. of a vlog but if you guys remember this area if you're from Anaheim California Orange County California whatever comment down below that what you used to do did you ever go to Camelot or Scamelot or whatever you used to call it and your memories of this place all right thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe bye okay that's funny I wonder how old that sign is because there you go cruising prohibited <laughs> 
That is classic. Because that's what they used to do. So yeah, I think I guess they must have cruised down this road through Family Fun Center, did the UE, and then back down this road. But I don't exactly know what they would do. They must turn turned... Uh oh, there you go. There's a kind of a cul-de-sac at the end there. So they must have did the cul-de-sac turnaround and just kept going back and forth. It was so stupid. <laughs> Sorry if I offended anybody on that, but it was so stupid. And they all played their music super loud, pumping their bass and subwoofers in the back seat. Anyway, just thought that was funny.